How to protect your identity during tax time. It's definitely time to think about protecting your personal information. Cyber criminals are always hungry to get your personal information. One of the first things that comes to mind is email is not really a secure technology. Don't let anybody fool you. Email is the way that so many of these hacks are perpetrated. Now, it's often human involvement, but email is just not secure because your information can be forwarded. There could be, I think they call it a man in the middle attack, which is somebody somewhere, if they wanted to, could peek and poke around either on the sending end or the receiving end. So email is just not secure, folks. Even IRS, they're not going to email you because they recognize email is not secure. In my CPA firm, we try to avoid email. We discourage email. Instead, in my CPA firm, what we do is use a secure communications app. Some accountants will tout a portal and a portal is a little bit different than a secure communications app. Think about maybe an app you would use to talk to your doctor. That's the kind of technology that we use because we value security. One of the most insecure methods to keep documents and information would be in paper form. And just think about it. You could be walking down the street with your W-2 or your tax information it drops, it blows away in the wind, and it's gone. You can't even quickly and easily reproduce it necessarily. So paper is definitely not secure. Having papers laying around your house, laying around your office, it's not secure. And that does bring to mind on the paper note, always make sure that you dispose of your documents properly. Destroy them using either a shredding service they can assure you of the confidentiality of it. That would be probably a best practice. That's what doctors, hospitals, banks, and people that care about security, um, that's what they do. Another thing that is commonly undervalued would be keep an eye on your credit report. Any scam that's perpetrated, you know, if it's not affecting your bank account, it could be affecting your credit. So always keep an eye on both your bank account and your credit. For daily IRS updates, tax tips, and everything small business, mash that like button, turn on that notification bell, share with your friends or your business associates. You got comments, drop them down below, and of course, follow for more. And if you or someone you know are looking to save thousands of dollars every year on your taxes, head over to myfavoritecpa.com to learn the right and legal way to save the maximum amount of tax.